Welcome to Intel Ireland, located in the heart of the Liffey Valley in Leakslip, County Kildare. We hope your visit here today will be both enjoyable and informative as you journey through this fascinating high-tech company. So let's begin our journey of exploration by looking at the story of Intel, its growth in Ireland and how our microchips are made. Intel began small, but with a big idea. Computer memory integrated on a silicon chip. That was in 1968. Since then, Intel has had a lot more ideas. So many, in fact, that Intel's products have sparked and led the electronics revolution. Today, Intel microprocessors can be found in factories and offices, in cars and aeroplanes, in hospitals and in homes. In fact, just about anywhere you can think of. Intel's headquarters are located in Santa Clara in California. We're a truly international company, employing over 60,000 people around the world, including many people in Ireland. Intel first came to Ireland in 1989. Since then, we've continued to expand and grow our Irish operation. The majority of our employees are employed in Ireland Fab Operations. Ireland Fab Operations consists of two factories known as Fab 14 and Fab 10. These are semiconductor wafer fabrication plants, and they make microprocessors, the brains which control and manage how computers operate. Fab 14 is Europe's leading factory for the manufacture of advanced logic products. It makes high-speed Pentium 3 processors and will make later generation Intel processors. Fab 10 has been in production since 1993 and is now being upgraded to the same manufacturing technology as Fab 14. Keeping our factories running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week involves a lot of people. Since we announced phase two of our site development, including Fab 14, we've added 1,600 jobs to employment on the Leakslip site. This will make Intel one of the largest employers in the country and one of the biggest investors. Making microprocessors is an expensive and highly sophisticated business. So let's take a closer look now at how microprocessors are made here in our fabs. Microprocessors are manufactured in clean rooms over a thousand times cleaner than standard hospital operating theatres. As even a single speck of dust, invisible to the naked eye, can destroy a microprocessor while it's being made, strict control measures are in place to keep the area dust free. That's why people in the fab wear specially designed space age suits. These suits help to protect the product from human contaminants, such as loose hair, flaking skin, or dirty hands, which could destroy the microprocessor. That's also why air in the clean room is changed every six seconds by a filtered air system. The system provides a continuous flow of clean air to drive away any small particles in the atmosphere. It's also why the water used in the manufacturing process has to be cleaned over a four-day period before being used in the fab. In this super clean environment, microprocessors are built in batches on wafers made of silicon. Silicon is the main ingredient found in common sand, and it's used because it's a natural semiconductor. This makes it easy to change its electrical characteristics to create various electrical components. During the manufacturing process, millions of transistors are built onto the silicon wafer. It's this combination of transistors connected together which makes up the switching system that controls modern-day computers. There are over 300 process steps involved in the manufacture of each microprocessor. The most complex part of the operation takes place in the main fab, which is divided into four key areas, known as diffusion, lithography, etch and thin films. The manufacturing process in each of these areas changes the structure of the wafer in a unique way. 
wafers move repeatedly through these key areas many times as multi-layered integrated circuits are built on the silicon surface. Once the electrical components have been built, the wafers then move on to a different part of the manufacturing process, known as back end. Here, the electrical component connections are made. During this part of the operation, the wafer's thickness is first reduced by a process known as grinding and gold is then deposited onto the back of the wafer. Gold is used because it provides the best electrical contact for the microprocessor during the mounting process at assembly. Finally, each individual microprocessor on the wafer is then tested to ensure it meets customer specifications and that it will deliver high quality performance. Later, any faulty chips will be discarded during the assembly process. It takes a highly committed and talented workforce to make this complex manufacturing operation run effectively and efficiently. Everyone plays a part. That's why working at Intel is all about teamwork. It's teams that make things happen and form the backbone of this operation. So let's hear what the people who work here have to say. My job involves training um, all the MTs, we call them, all the operators are up on the machinery or equipment on the floor. So I've been doing that about two and a half years now. Started off as an operator myself. After I did my leave and cert, I went to Dundalk RTC and I got a diploma in electronics. I'm a senior technician and I work, um, my main job uh, is to maintain iron implanters. I did a four year degree in Queens and Belfast, a degree in electrical and electronic engineering. I completed two co-op work experience placements with Intel and I applied and got back into the materials department as a buyer. Well, everything's a team, really. You're never really on your own. If you're really busy, there's always somebody to help you. There, if things are going wrong, everyone takes responsibility for it. You're never really on your own. Until the great place to work. Um, the work is challenging and demanding, but the rewards are great. There's a great atmosphere. You, know, you really have a lot of fun with other people. I would say apply to Intel, definitely. It is a great place to work. Uh, there's lots of things to do. If you find when you get here that you'd like to move around to different departments, you can do that. And there's lots of things to do. It's a big place. There is more to life at Intel than just work. With so many young people on site, there's a thriving social life here. The company helps pay for many sports and social clubs, which offer plenty of action-packed activities outside of work. There's also the employee fitness factory, with its gym, basketball and indoor soccer courts. A great place for a workout and to take a sauna after a day's work. Maintaining good community relations is also important to Intel. Since our arrival in Ireland, we've actively supported a number of community-based projects. These include the refurbishment of the Lucan Adult Education Centre by a team of Intel volunteers and the restoration of the River Rye as a local fishing amenity for anglers. Intel also works closely with local schools and third-level colleges, encouraging students to study the kinds of subjects that will prepare them for jobs in high-tech companies like Intel. There are jobs here for people with all kinds of qualifications, including the Leaving Cert and third-level certificate, diploma and degree holders. People are hired at Intel because of their flexibility, initiative and ability to work well in a team environment. It's not just exam results that count. Of course, studying the right subjects at school and at college does help. A good leaving cert with maths and science will qualify you for entry-level operator positions, a certificate or diploma in technical subjects such as mechanical and electrical engineering will open up opportunities for you at technician level. A degree in engineering, science or business studies will qualify you for positions in engineering, training, purchasing and management. And that's only the start. Once you get here, you'll receive regular and constant training for whatever job you do. Finally, we hope you'll appreciate that although we'd like to take you into the clean room, that won't be possible on this visit. You have to be specially trained, even for a short visit. And don't forget to look up our website at www.intel.ie We hope you enjoy the remainder of your visit to our site.